lecture I'm going to integrate to x sin x into cos x dx so let's see the answer so first you are writing the given x sin x into cos x dx so the next is here we can multiply 1 by 2 here x to sin x into cos x and here this is now dx to so here we should use the 2 sin a into cos b formula 2 sin a into cos b that is here sin a plus b sin a minus b sin a plus b plus sin a minus b so now this we can write here 1 by 2 integration here x sin a plus b sin x plus x 2x and plus sin a minus b so here sin x minus x that is here sin 0 and sin 0 the value comes 0 so this is now 0 plus so anything if you add here let's write 0 and dx after that it's quite simple here this is now 1 by 2 here x sin 2x that come dx so this is the form of u v and it follow eyelet rule so eyelet rule algebraic then trigonometric so this follow eyelet rule now here let's use the integration by part so here u v dx so first here let's write u do the integration of v minus here du by dx integration of here v dx okay so now we can write 1 by 2 so u writing here doing the integration of v sin 2x dx minus doing the differentiation of u here integration symbol this is 1 and v so integration sin 2x dx after that the next is here let's write 1 by 2 here x so sin integration minus cos 2x divided by 2 and here so this is now uh, sin 2x so integration minus cos 2x divided by 2 ok and uh, here dx after that the next is so this is now 1 by 2 and this come minus x cos 2x divided by 2 and the next is minus minus multiply this is plus and here cos 2x divided by 2 dx so the next is here let's write 1 by 2 and here minus x cos 2x divided by 2 and here cos integration that is here sin 2x divided by 2 into 2 and plus c that is the constant after that let's multiply 1 by 2 with h so here x cos 2x divide by 4 and here sin 2x divide by 4 into 2 8 plus c so this is the answer of this question so one time going to repeat so here 2 sin a into sin b that is also we know sin 2a sin 2a the formula is 2 sin a into sin b so write the sin 2x here this is uh, algebraic and trigonometric use the integration by part put the all those things do the integration and differentiation and after doing the calculation then you can get these terms so this is the way we can do the integration so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next to it thank you